Hi Pflugerville Library members, this is Mrs. Good Enough again. I think we're, we've made it to October and this will be our second kids sewing project. I'm Miss Jan with the Pflugerville Quilt Guild and I'm here to show you our latest craft. It's a pillow, a little personal pillow. You might be able to tell from the little grid that I'm working on right here. It is um, 8 by 10. I don't know if you can see that it's 8 this way and 10 this way. And we're going to sew it. Two long running stitch seams and one overcast. Let's see, can you see that? One overcast seam to close it in. It comes in this kit with instructions, a pillow form, here's a pillow form, and a piece of fabric for your pillow casing. And let's get started. Here we go. This is a personal portable pillow. I hope you can see that. There you go. Personal portable pillow. What is in there is a pillow form that's eight by 10, fabric for the pillowcase, which is marked, and I will show that to you right now. Remember, on one side of the page are the instructions that the parents or an older sibling should read, and then on, well, here I've done it again. And then on the back with diagrams is a little cartoon with step one, step two, step three, and step four. You're gonna sew on the two marked lines a nice straight stitch. You're gonna, uh, then you're gonna turn it right side out, and then you will put the pillow inside it, and then you're going to close the pillow. You can choose to do another row of straight stitches, or you can use the overcast stitch that we were talking about the other two times. All right, let's get started. Here is the form, uh, the pillowcase, and this is what you're gonna sew first. Let's see if I can put my sewing lines. You'll notice there's a little light red line. I've already sewn on this side of it. A light red line, nice straight tight stitches, and I can test them for you. They're gonna hold. See, they're gonna hold nicely. I made sure I have no loops, that the all the stitches went through both pieces of fabric, the top and the bottom. This right here is a fold, so we won't need to worry about it. And right now, when you thread your needle, and this is where your neutral color thread comes in. I'm using dark so that you can follow what I'm doing. Uh, what you're probably gonna want to do is when you pull your thread, you want it to be maybe this much longer than the length of the seam. That way you won't have to stop and re-thread a needle. Now I'm going to show you very, how very quickly this goes. Now, last time we did a running stitch and be, oops, okay, this is something I need to talk about. When you pull too hard and it gathers like that, don't let it do that. When it does, smooth it out, nice and smooth. And you wanna make sure, and this is also something that's gonna happen, your extra thread will wanna get tangled around your safety pins or whatever you're using. Here we go. Now remember you make both hands work together. This is your clamping holding hand and this is your sewing hand. If it helps you to do one stitch at a time and pull that one stitch nice and smooth, then do it that way. We aren't in a class where we only have 30 minutes. You're at home and you can take all the time you want to do it just right. I am so happy. This is also an activity you could do on the sewing machine. You can line up your seam on the sewing machine and run it a nice straight stitch 
and have it sealed really quickly. But it's also, see how I did two stitches at once there? And I am not using an overly long needle. Uh, I'm using a little bit smaller one this time. I'll tell you why. It's because it was already threaded. Is that being lazy or what? And because it is a smaller needle and it's real skinny, it is super sharp. And yes, I do uh, poke myself. Not hard enough to make blood, but I, I can feel it when it comes through. Uh, when it comes, see, I can feel that it has a little sharp point. Now, um, I should talk about thimbles. I do not have one. I don't use them. Uh, a lot of people use a thimble. It's a guard, a little metal guard you put on your thumb and it helps you to push the needle when you're going through really heavy fabrics. Um, I just pinch and push. I, I don't really use a thimble. I don't like having that feeling covering my thumb. There you go. Here we go. Now I'm, I'm hoping that I'm staying in the area that you can see. I can't always tell what the camera is catching. And I hope I'm not bouncing the table. There we go. We're almost done. This didn't take long, did it? Now, I want to uh, encourage you to have this stay folded. It will help you in the long run. And, and remember what this is? This makes a finished edge. This is your rough edge or your raw edge. See, you can see the ravels. But this, with it folded back, is a finished edge. Okay, now since I've gotten done, I'm going to take my pins out because they're kind of in the way. Now I'm going to make sure this is nice and smooth and I'm going to tie my knot on the end. Here we go. Remember, it's a loop. See the little loop? Now I'm going to go through it. Pull nice and tight. Do it one more time. Make a loop. Come right through it. Pull nice and tight. And that makes the knot. And I'm going to trim that off. And now I'm going to, well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to just trim a little bit of this corner off. I did it already there. I didn't, I'll show you. See right there, I kind of trimmed the little extra. I didn't get anywhere near my threads. This is what we call turning out. Remember, we worked on the wrong side of the fabric. The right sides are together. And this is where we turn it out. Right side out. Here we go. There. And I take advantage of using my finger to poke my corners. There. Just like that, we've made a pillowcase. It's a cute one, isn't it? Now, the tricky part is having the patience to stuff a pillow in there. And when we do, I hope that it looks as nice as this one. Uh, the trick is to get the corner of your pillow into the corners of the pillow case. You really want to pay attention and do that. If you need to get um, something like the eraser end of a pencil to help you get it into there, then have a pencil handy. Now, Miss Jen is going to at least get it started. Here we go. Here's my pillow form. Here's my case. I am going to, well, I'm going to show you kind of a trick. You fold back some of it so that it makes a little shorter case. Let's see if I can. This is the trick. All right, I'm holding on to the corner and I want to get the corner in the corner. I'm going to the other corner, holding on to it. <laughs> this is tricky. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a cameraman. <laughs> if you were in the same room with me, you'd see me kind of struggling with this. 
All right, I think we did it. Now one way of doing it is to hold the top and shake real hard like that over on the side where you have room to sling it. Okay, I may. Okay, here's my pencil. I'm gonna poke that corner a little bit and I'm gonna come over here and poke this corner and see if I can get the corner into the corner. And then, yes, I did it. Now, right here at the top, this is the tricky part. See how we want to keep our fold down so that we have the raw edges uh, down inside? And we want to, right here where the seam is, we want to start pinching. And if you have safety pins, this is a good time to use them. There's one. There, that's smooth. We're gonna move down a little bit and pinch it nice and smooth. And, whoop. well, and you wanna pinch this one and then check to make sure that right here I have a little thread hanging. I wanna trim that off. There. Okay, all of that is very smooth. And this is where your overcast stitch comes in. Let me show you on the finished pillow. See how I used a neutral thread and it kind of blended in? I think this neutral might have been gray. And I, I believe we have a gray, which this might be it. Yes, so yeah, we had a gray and it's right here. I'm going to put my loop and pull the tail there. See, I made my loop, pulled my tail. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I did not uh, make a very long one because we're gonna have to stop sort of in the middle and re-thread the needle. But when you're overcast stitching, um, now I'm going to start on the inside of the pillowcase and get the knot to stay in there. Stay in. And when you're overcast stitching, remember it's not in and out. It's around. Here we go. Did I get, are you up here where I can see? Here we go. All right. Okay. I'm holding the two finished folded edges together and I'm taking just enough there to catch and hold them together and you want to try to space your stitches out well there see how at the last minute I moved my finger all right here we go See how I'm taking the time to make sure that my fabric is lined up and flat? There we go. There, and I'm pulling it nice and tight. See how by the thread going around, it's sealing whatever uh, fluffy, puffy part might be wanting to poke out. It seals it in. And this is where, um, where overcast stitches really help. When you're closing up something like a doll or a pillow, it really helps. And with a, a neutral thread, or if I used blue, it would probably just disappear. There you go, right there. And I'll just continue to do that. Probably I will have to tie a knot about here and re-thread my sewing machine, my sewing machine, re-thread my needle and start over. And when I do, I will just poke it through the top part and let the knot hide on the inside. And then I will just complete that row. And that's when I will get this. See? I think this neutral thread was either gray or light blue. And then when it's done, you work it and, and you kind of work it to get the corners 
into the corners that have just been sealed. And you can kind of shape your pillow. This is a really good neck pillow. I use mine when I go to the dentist because sometimes when he's working on me, uh, it hurts my neck to press into the dentist chair. So I put this under my neck. Uh, they let you do it. They'll let you bring your own pillow. And that is a phone call. Well, this is Miss Jan saying thanks for being with us for Kids Sewing. And I hope you have a successful personal portable pillow.